<laughs> New brow stuff? Who dis? Overalls. Well, technically this time of the month they're just her overalls, but later on they might be her flow overalls. I don't know. I'm a regular. <laughs> Put my hair up. I look so cute. I have such a Bob the Builder aesthetic going right now. She's the cutest. I found out about this new brand, guys, and I'm very excited about it. Like, super excited about it. She sent me, my boyfriend, and my daughter the really cute masks for the protection. The face condoms, basically. And I had to go to Walgreens because I had to go pick up some medicine because of painful things. So I slapped on my cute little mask. I went to the Walgreens. I kept my six feet. We're still social distancing. We're still being aware. But I found out about this new brand brand that is at a drugstore and it is relatively at a very affordable price and a lot of you guys have been asking me like hey what are really good brow pencils what do you use on your brows what are your favorite products for your brows that are affordable so I'm always trying to find really good brow products because there's a lot of people that suffer from um ugh, not bad bitch brows present company excluded I don't know how to call it I don't know it's it's a thing it's a crisis but I'm here to help you guys. Even for those of you who don't have a lot of brow, you know, who don't have a lot of, who don't really understand your shape. Like I'm here to help you guys. And not only that, but I'm here to help you find the right products in your budget. So I'm always testing out new brow products is what I'm trying to say. That was just my long winded way of saying, I'm here to help you. <laughs> Today I'm gonna be testing out this brand new brand. It's called Arches and Halos. So like the things on your feet and that one Beyonce slapper. Uh, I bought a bunch of stuff actually. She hasn't been out in a while guys so when she went to the drugstore those really quick four minutes she just grabbed stuff um, and she really did just grab stuff I grabbed three different brow pencils I grabbed uh, brow razors brow gel brow pomade and tweezers even I don't I don't know why I was just I think I think she was just really excited to be out, out of her house and she couldn't really look at the makeup which was sad I'm gonna tell you guys if these are slappers or not. I think one side we're gonna do, let's do a mixture of all of them. Let's try and use the pomade and then use the pencil and then we'll use the brow gel, all that stuff. Cool, okay, so I'm gonna start off with the pomade. I'm actually really curious about the pomade. This is the Arches and Halos by Tanya Cooks. Professional brow, luxury brow building pomade. I feel like I should do some research about this brand. Tanya Crooks sounds so familes. <laughs> I think the brow gal used to be her company and now I think she renamed it to Arches and Halos. She's real cheese mosa right now. I just want to know about the product. So this is what it looks like. Do you see it? Cool. And then this is the brocha. So this is the dual ended uh, brush. This has a spoolie, an angle thing, touched by an angel it says. She was brush up. I love a good spoolie. I got mine in the shade neutral brown, I believe, uh, because she's real neutral. This is what she looks like, regardless though. Oof, that was super easy. That was very easy. Uh, she did kind of mess up, but we will just go ahead and clean that up later. We will try and not let that affect us, right, Gloria? Right. That was quite easy, actually. Okay, this brow's not perfect, but she's not done yet. I'm gonna now use the Arches and Halos Professional Brow Angled Brow Shading Pencil. Again, this one is in the shade Neutral Brown. I will say I like the packaging. The packaging definitely got my attention. The display immediately got my attention. It says Joan of Arch. <laughs> Bitch. That may be mamón el chiste, but it's cute. It's cute. Spoolie, we love that. The, ooh, she is very angled. It's a very angled square pencil. That is unlike anything I've ever seen. Ah! Oh, that hurt my throat. Ouch. No manches, wey, it's all yo. Yo, that is one fine ass crisp line, is what that is. That's a really interesting formula, but 
the pigment is really, really there. Okay, I'm gonna stop with this brow pencil because I'm really curious to use the other one. Um, so this is the Micro Defining Brow Pencil, again, from Arches and Halos. Again, a neutral brown for this neutral brown bead. On the back of this one, it says details matter. And ain't that the damn truth? Thank you for allowing us to have spoolies. I love spoolies. You need spoolies in like literally everything. If your brow product doesn't have a spoolie, don't talk to me. What a sassy little slut, damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in all the sparse areas with this one because again, it's a very tiny, and she is, she's very tiny. This pencil, both of them actually are very, very waxy. Again, is a preference thing. I don't love my pencils to be super waxy, which, but I also don't mind it because the wax in a brow pencil is not only used to kind of distribute the formula, but it is also used to keep your brows in place. That is why some companies really uh, like to formulate with a more waxier pencil because it keeps their brows up. And why a lot of people prefer waxy brow pencils. Now, the waxy to pigment ratio, I think is pretty good because they're there's a lot of pigment in all of these products. Like both of the pencils, there's a lot of pigment. There's a lot of product that just distributes out like really nicely. Um, but I will say that for my personal preference, I would prefer a little less waxiness in my pencils because one of the things that it also can do is tug at your brow hairs, which might kind of like pull your brow hairs. It's. <sighs> It's not something I really enjoy. Like, I don't like the idea of like pulling my brow hairs out. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows with concealer. Last but not least, we have the Arches and Halos Clear Brow Gel. This guy right here. Oh, it says hold tight. Okay. Water resistant firm hold brow gel. Ooh, very nice packaging. I like that, I like that. And the brush is tiny, what? Oh, wow, Tanya. This is like the lace potato chip bag of, of makeup containers. Cause you think, oh, I get a lot of product because it's in here. No, the product's in here. What a disillusion. Anyways. Ooh, that's very nice. I love how little this spoolie is. Yo, these brows look in all sorts of ferocious though. Wow. All right, everybody, let us commingle. I like my brows. I think I'm having a great brow day. This one is for sure my favorite. I think the pomade is my favorite. I'm just gonna say it. I think the pomade is my favorite product. I just really liked how easy it was to apply. I love the tone. The pencils, while they're good, they're not my favorite. The waxiness to pigment ratio, for me, it's just, if it was just a little less waxy. But that's just my personal preference. Cause like I said, there's a lot of people who prefer a waxier brow pencil. One thing I will say that I love is the fact that we have so many more like like brow options in the drugstore now because it used to be if you wanted a really good brow pencil you had to drop money and now we have like so many options at the drugstore and they still keep coming out and not only are they more affordable but they are more accessible to us which I love everybody deserves just the best brows ever I love the brow gel I think the brow gel is my gonna be my go-to for a minute because wow I feel like I just sprayed hairspray on my brows and they stayed completely feathered and like really nice don't look at my sideburns that's so rude of you I like it, I'm with it, and I approve. And I wouldn't lie to you. And I haven't lied in two years.